professional organizers like myself tend to tell our clients that uh, we need to have specific places for our items. Otherwise, we're going to spend a lot of time looking for items and we're going to have some clutter and disorganization. For example, in the kitchen, uh, we tend to know where to find certain items, a can opener, a plate, a cup. But sometimes, from experience I know, we tend to throw some items into one specific drawer. Now, Michael McIntyre is a British comedian and he talks about this man drawer, where the man in the household gets to throw in items into this drawer that he feels that he may need uh, in the future. Uh, he has a great YouTube video about this. I've put the link in the description, really funny. Now he talks about items such as uh, light bulbs and batteries. Often we just throw in a battery into a drawer, uh, not realizing the battery is dead. Uh, and then when we're looking for batteries, we spend a lot of time figuring out whether that battery is working or not. Um, he also talks about uh, Allen key, an Allen key that we use to assemble some IKEA furniture. Um, but we tend to keep that uh, Allen key for some reason. He talks about keys. Often we keep keys. We have a key, but we have no idea what that key is used for. Maybe it came from an old house, uh, the last place of employment, uh, but we have difficulty actually just throwing it in the garbage because we feel that, hey, that key might be of use to someone, but if we don't know what the key's for, then... <laughs> we may as well get rid of it, but it's so easy just to throw it into into a drawer. Uh, he talks about power leads and cell phones. Uh, we tend to keep our old cell phones instead of recycling them, but who knows, maybe one day that Nokia cell phone will be a, of value to someone. Uh, he talks about instruction manuals that we tend to keep for items that we no longer have. Such a great video. Uh, do you have uh, a man drawer or, or a busy drawer that is full of uh, small items that uh, probably need to be thrown out? I'd love to hear from you. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how you attack the man drawer or the busy drawer and uh, make it tidy and organized. So thank you for listening. Please subscribe, like the video, and we'll see you soon for the next video.